And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah, player, player. Oh. It's The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. It's Tuesday. Goddamn right. We're right across from each other, dude. Right. New seating arrangements. That's Dan Soder. I'm Big J. Okerson. We're here with you at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Got real drug draw today. You're saying you're hurting. Yeah. Me too, buddy. I'm fucking feeling the, yeah, guys, the we're Christmas gonna, stress is... That, and I did a lot of drugs with Ari Shafir last night, so it is... We're real... Yeah, I didn't even take the escape. Yeah, I got the escape. I got you shot the up the for space. a few hours. But yeah, no, I'm riding. I'm riding. Man, I'll tell you I'm this. I've only, done Molly, I've only done Molly twice. I yeah. did it last night. The jaw clenching yeah. is the worst part. What I don't do you, get it on mushrooms. What do you mean? You just like... Yeah. LCD sound system. What are you saying, jaw clenching? I've never like experienced like biting down on your jaw, like clenching it, like kind of like coke clinch. You and know why do you do that? Just because it's, it's involuntary. Yeah, it's just like I'm. I was just smacking my jaws together. I don't know. I was just biting down. It's just fucking. I don't know if anyone else can attest to this, but you do Molly, you just fucking bite down. Oh yeah, real quick. By the way, I'll get out of the way uh, early in the show here because we should have done this yesterday. But the person we only have the handle, of course, but the person who gave us the Footage from Sports Center, who took the video for us and sent it to us, is uh, Kaylee's Poppy on Twitter. Kaylee's Poppy uh, at D Hirsch one nine six eight. Thank you so much for doing that. It's so cool. I've watched Fuck it. Yeah, so many it's times. unbelievable. Yeah, it's great. There's just Sports Center. It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely bonkers. Nuts. It is crazy. <laughs> uh, I didn't sleep last night, so I'm like fucking gassing out. Are you gassing out? Or are you? We had that weird, like, second level. Where second level amped. right now. Because I did, you know what, dude? I just did Bobby Kelly's podcast, and I was fucking dragging ass, missing shots. Really? Yeah, I was just out of it. And then, like, I came up to the office, took a 15, 20-minute nap. Oh, really? Yeah, a little disco nap. I'm back, I baby. Know, right? took a bit did some more back. Molly. Dude, fucking. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really on I see you are. You're jittery. You're jittery for sure. I mean, I got I to gotta keep moving. That's what it is. If I keep moving, if I keep dancing. This is oh. taking you right back. <laughs> Did they do the song? No. They played a lot of great songs. They didn't play this stuff. Ah! Shit. Do you have a, a, a wide knowledge of their catalog? Uh, after Bonnaroo, when I saw them with Ari the first time, I got into them and downloaded their album. Really? This was great. But you bring without, me without without knowing them. Drugs. Without drugs, I downloaded them and got into them. Really? I mean, it was because of drugs that I got into them because I remembered the songs and how I felt on drugs. Uh-huh. So then it's one of those things where you're like, oh, this brings back the drug <laughs> feeling. You just rename the songs, the things you felt at the time. He goes, oh, this well, yeah. is uh, Missing My Dad. This is, oh, this is Let the Hugs In. I didn't realize this is Let the Hugs In. This is Let Love In. Oh, I didn't realize that was the part of the Molly thing. This is The Whole Planet is Connected. It's really funny doing fucking hard, like, uh, like emotional drugs with comics because it's really the only time comics let it out. So it's like the only time where we're really like... Saying shit to each other that's real, you know, like. Did you guys go back to Ari's and have like a love fest? Oh man, it was crazy. Just a fucking four way conference, just, ju- just straight drug chatter. Really? Just like, oh, fuck is, oh, and it was, I was leading the pack. I was just fucking, <laughs> and Ari and everyone. And then that's the thing where that's the hangover today where I'm like, I ah, fuck it. I gotta call him and tell him I'm sorry for just rattling. What'd you say? Where, how deep you get? Ah, oh, how deep just, in the hold you go? It was, it, yeah, just one of those things where you're just like, oh man, I just gotta fucking. I gotta be me. I gotta be me more. It's just stuff that's on. It's, but it's like such <laughs> obvious shit. But on drugs, you feel like you're le- reaching this new level where you're like, I just gotta be me more. That's just all I gotta do. I just gotta be me more. And then people I are wear like, my what? glasses and not worry about what anybody thinks. I'm like me more, me more. Use my eyes, me more. And then I'm like, I need water. I got, I got one. The Invisible Man wouldn't be invisible with all the dust surrounding us. Yes. God damn it, that made me laugh. <laughs> what, The Invisible Man wouldn't be? Yeah. Well, that w- what made me laugh more is when Christine came crushing down. Oh, she goes, that's another kind. To let you know that uh, somebody else told me that information. <laughs> that was Christine. That was Christine going zero to 60. That's Christine called, very rarely that's goes zero to 60. That's called getting your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we have... Uh, oh, call, such an early caller. I like when mm. he's calling with like a here's something out of nowhere. But we have a, a pretty busy show today as far as topics. I Dude, came you got in. a lot. You came in fucking packed to the gills. Heavy. New and, uh, sweatshirt. Look good. Oh, yeah. This is this, this is Dan's uh, Christmas gift to me. Iverson stepping over skeleton to Ron Lou. Yeah. So awesome. Absolutely love it. 
Love um, that you love it. I like when you see I the remnants of what we were watching before we started the show. Yeah, so like, you get, like, just a girl crying. Just a sad teenager on Dr. Phil. By the way, it's not even funny. It's just a girl crying, being like, I can't let the pain out. And you're like, oh. Yeah, it was sort of sad, actually. And you, feel, you want to be like, uh, yeah, hello, um, song from LCD Sound System that I felt the same thing last night. Uh, is this song that song? Did you get somewhere? Did you cry at the concert? No. No, 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 no. I tell you, that's one of my, that'll be one of my favorite memories always. Everybody, uh, on mushrooms except for me at, uh, what's it called? Panorama. Panorama. Fest. I, was, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't too high. And everybody split off during, uh, Nine Inch Nails Hurt to go cry by themselves. Yeah, everyone had you, to go. You, Lewis, and Ari, you all went to go cry. I didn't corners. cry by yourself. Watch your fucking mouth, dude. You cried with somebody? I was with, with you and Christine. I cried right in front of you guys. During <laughs> Hurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, during Hurt, Hurt doesn't make me cry. Really? Yeah, I don't why? know why. I don't You've know. Never hurt yourself today, dude. I don't hurt myself today. I don't got a fucking kingdom of dirt. I'll hurt you. I'll hurt you right now. Stay away. Stop touching me. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about. This is a little far, far back in my notes. You yeah, know? As, as we as we're not together. Yeah, I watch things. I'm on the internet. I read stories. I, for the most part, watch. You're out there getting the scoop, videos. dude. I'm getting the scoops. I keep my a, I keep my ear to the ground. You Jay scoops Okerson. I keep my, what is it? Nose to the grindstone. Nose to the grindstone, ear to the ground. My ear to the ground. I, uh, I go for it. And, uh, sure. Is a lot of that pulled off of World Star Hip Hop? Absolutely. But I'm just gonna throw, some, I'm just gonna hurl some things at you and you tell me where you wanna go. Done. And listen to three. Okay. Before you pick. Sure. I love this. We got, and this is, uh, and I'll kinda give you a taste that we're gonna go in a rabbit hole with some of these. Got it. Uh, this is a rabbit hole one. We could do Chanel West Coast, the giggly doof from MTV's Ridiculous Assistantness. I feel like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's, what's it's her. Two? Well, I'm telling you, it's her getting denied from a club. This is what's recent. Denied from a club because she wanted to bring in too many people. That's very appealing. She flips her shit, uh, talks about it in another video while sitting in a tub in a weird bathing suit for TMZ. But then in looking at that, we found there's a trail. This girl has melt, like bitchy white chick. Who uh she thinks she hangs out with black than, people and uh, also thinks she's more famous than she actually very, is. Thinks she's very famous. Uh, she's also a rapper. We look into her music. I mean, I, I stop it right there. We don't even need to hear two and three. You don't hear two more? No. Okay. Let's just get into this. You just want to have a Chanel West Coast day? <laughs> That's a Chanel West. We Coast have to day. let people. Let's give people an intro to who she is. We have some. She's on her. Rob Diedrich's ridiculousness. Right, and maybe it's the best of her or something, so you can hear her laugh and her thing. Let's not just make this a full blown smear piece. Yeah, you got to build them up to break them down. Yeah, that's Let's America. Let you know who she is. She's got a show. She's successful to some degree. We all know MTV's out there laying out the big bucks. <laughs> yeah, we know MTV's creating great content ahead of the ahead of the curve. It's Viacom, Dan. It's Viacom. Oh yeah, sorry. It's great. We love it. <laughs> I love it. You love it. We all love it. Dan, they made you an official lawyer. Maybe You're right. show some goddamn respect. You're right. I apologize. I just want to say, as a representative of the Viacom Corporation, yeah, you we got your are, law degree at MTVU. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I am, first off, it's in guy code, and that's specific, because I can't, I can't litigate girl code, and I want you to know that. Okay. Yeah. I, I can only litigate guy code. That's fair enough. In guy court. Um, Don L. Rawlings needs to be the judge. I want you to know what Christine just did as an attack on this girl out of the gates because the girl's very pretty. Because girls are petty. And Christine is someone who eats shit for her laugh a lot. She just made a 10 minute video of this girl's wretched laugh. Go let me, ahead. Let Go me ahead. tell you right now, she has roller rink face like I've never seen before. Like hot girl at roller rink. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, is, this sounds awful. This sounds like a nightmare. Well, let's listen to her music now. Yes. Are oh, you see that video? Chanel right West Coast. Carrie. Carl. Uh. Uh. Is this the video playing? I don't know if it's the Molly that's still in me, but I'm loving this. Is this making, Guys, you, is this making you miss your family? <laughs> Guys, let's go. Let's come back every year at this date and do this again. Is this her? Yeah. Wait, can we hear the audio from the video that's playing? help you? You know, I'm looking at her. It, is she that? She's, she's less hot than I thought she was. Yeah. She's a real LA7. 
my pants. Yeah, she's got a. Yeah. Her face is like, 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 like. Yeah, but I know it's like, who are we to call her an LA7? But like, she's you not see, fucking me either way. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> and you're going to see in this video that she has a real personality of a two. But I mean, actually, a personality of a two would be good. She has a personality. Oh, you know, you're right. Exactly. She has the personality of a fucking 11. <laughs> yeah. What's her... What's she saying? Carl Lagerfeld. Who's that? It's a designer. Carl Lagerfeld. Can I start doing Great that with Kohl's brands? Can I start going, apartment nine, apartment nine, <laughs> apartment nine, Sonoma, Sonoma. Wait, Christine, go to the Kirkland. other... Uh, Kirkland. Kirkland, 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 Costco. Kirkland. I get my cranberry juice the same as my jeans. Go play her other song that that been on that been on featuring French Montana. And again, I love when girls like this get like legit Rappers. like acts on their thing is because like, will you please do it for me? Sometimes I sometimes I record my songs with my nipples hanging out. <laughs> I'm just gonna be at the studio hanging out. If you could just come on by, give me more. I don't know. I'll probably be up there playing with my pussy or something. Depends on the time you come. What you doing later? Montana. Montana. Joe Montana, greatest quarterback of all time. I mean, this is all the same. And by the way, she really like, she sells her like sex appeal for she's not, she doesn't have like a fucking holy shit body. Dude. Like she doesn't have a bad body at all, but she's, her confidence is very weird. Yeah. It's almost like when you see a small guy who likes to fight, and you're like, oh, man, where's your confidence? It's, it's, it. Listen, if you're walking around with this chick, your chick's got a body like this and looks like that in that bathing suit, you're like, check out my chick. That's yeah. cool. But she's rocking it like we're going to a club in a one piece because that's how fucking hot I am. Like, like she's built like Sofia Vergara. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lou, you're yes. an expert on white girls who love the dark D. What do you think about this chick? I want to choke her and throw her in the river. Whoa! That's too Black Jersey. Low, Black low. Jersey. Too, way too Jersey, dude. Uh, I want to choke her and throw her in my bedroom. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Lou's all about it. Ah, nice erotic twist. Get those silk sheets going. <laughs> oh, look, she's, in the, she's in the hot tub with all of her makeup running, so you know what she look like after. Oh, yeah. Black, Black Lou's got to kick on that humidifier. Get her going. Do you know, dare I say this? And man, I don't want to be, and these paths will cross again later in the story. It, it, it is Bad Baby better than her? Yes. I think she is. I'm going to say it right now, and I can't believe I'm saying this. I won't, I won't remember how either of these songs go the second you turn them off, but I know. Hi, hi bitch. bitch. Hi, hi bitch. bitch. <laughs> I do that a lot. I got fan fan cons. I got it. Fan fan fan. I got it. Fan fan. I know all the fucking shits. And what was the first one? The, there's, no, before hi bitch, the, the initial one. Hi, bitch was first, wasn't it? That's her first, no. dude. That's that's the Beatles. I'm gonna hold your hand. No, hold it's my not. Head. You know, it's, Hi, bitch, what you? That's not the first one. It's every day, bro. No, no, no we gotta no, find it out. Of my head. Go, but, oh Might my god, well she has a song called soup. "Mama Don't Worry." Oh, well. Still ain't dirty. What was the first one? She got like all that shit for and stuff. Go down further. Oh, these hoes. These, these hoes, yeah. Hoes. These hoes. <laughs> 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 Are we going to do an official, should we do a bonfire poll on Twitter to see who's better, Danielle Brigioli or fucking Chanel West Coast? I want to hear her sentimental bad baby, yes. mama don't worry, still please. ain't dirty song. What Can is that? please see her fucking DMX is slipping? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Play it. I mean, this is the garbage she grew up in. We're jumping around. We'll get this more cohesive. But right now, you have to hear... Danielle Brajoli's. This is bad Bobby's like. It's called Mama Don't Worry Still Ain't This dirty. is her thoughtful piece. She's 14, by the way. This should be called, are you saying it should be called Mommy Don't Worry? Yeah, it should be, it should be called Mommy Where Are You? I'm nervous. <laughs> Songs thought I need an adult, Stranger Danger. Oh, uh, yeah. Mommy, grown men are jerking off to me. Yeah. Before everyone gets excited out there, it's auto tuned. Of course. Tell you this, whoever she's getting to produce her tracks is better than Chanel West Coast. Far better. That's what I'm saying. Like she's she's actually making better content. This is making the remnants of Molly and me. I get it. <laughs> I'm a bad Bobby fan. That's what Ari's drug use has done to me. I'm a devil. You fan of bad baby? Bad baby. Bad baby. 
Uh, I hate that she's doing the reflecting video when she's 14. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh that's two years really ago. Is. I mean, it, at the bonfire, SXM, it really is a reflection video. Back in the day of the revival of 90210. Y'all remember last year, I was a little girl. Remember when that new movie Point Break came out in 2016? I was like, they do a remix or a remake. Um, you can turn it off. That was, uh, that's garbage. Oh, this just came out, so I'm like, oh, this only has like 1.8 million. Oh, that's views. it. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think she, she's putting together better. Yes. Well, she did get more listenable major music. record company. I just love that she has a reflection video at 14. That's oh, insane. it's fantastic. That'd be, that's crazy. Back in the day when I was uh, young, I'm not a kid anymore. Uh, I remember <laughs> last semester, everything was different. <laughs> I had economics. I wish I could go back to when I was 12, when thing was easier. Yeah. Easy, yeah. 12 years. All right, so let's go back to Chanel West Coast. Because, they, as, as Jay said, these two paths cross again. And, yeah. I'll tell you the first video I saw, particularly. But we're going to dig hard into Chanel West Coast, because apparently this is not her first rodeo. No. We, can we hear her go off on Charlemagne the God? On I kind of want to hear that. I've watched that clip. Is it good? Nah, she just basically is like, Charlemagne, you said I wasn't shit. And he was like, nah, I, you're, I'm, not, I'm not wrong. His rebuttal is way better than, than her actual fighting. Oh, the donkey of the day? Yes. Yeah. His donkeys of the day are great. Play it up. You're a donkey. Hey. I said about you, I'm going to say to you, and I'm going to continue to say it to you regardless of how mad you, you get. just you say something doesn't make it the truth. That's true. It's just my opinion. She's just saying that because I said her, I told her she was whack rapping one time. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's deeper than rap. That's all. Like, that <laughs> just come out of nowhere. Fucking oh, the other guy's just always dressed yeah. like kid and play in the corner. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're right, though. Uh-oh. Beef, 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 beef. Oh, really? Is she going to back that bad? Hey, Rob Diedrich, stop acting like you're always going to fall down. Uh, Why does he always act like he's got vertigo? Yeah, fuck Aren't you a professional skateboarder? Hey, Wobbly laughs. Yeah. Are you, <laughs> isn't, isn't balance your thing? He goes, and yeah, something Chanel West Coast says is going to make you actually go, Whoa! Uh, whoa! 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 They go, cut. They go, uh, it is a problem. His vertigo. <laughs> thing. Uh, he falls down a lot. We have, goes, we have insurance on both of his taking, hips. Hey, he's taking a lot of shots to the head. Yeah. He goes... You know, you see those, you see the successful grinding videos. You don't see the ones that screw up. <laughs> he is right, though. It's just my opinion. Yeah, uh, we're all so. entitled to opinions. That's all. Have you oh, yeah. Oh, yet? oh, trust me, Chanel West Coast. Jay and I have opinions about you. Oh, oh you'll hear <laughs> we're all, all entitled to our opinions. I already know her opinion about me. Isn't that beautiful? When you're self-loathing enough to you already, I've already pictured her worst opinion of me, so it gives me free range. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what's supposed to say about me? That I, I'm not, I'm not funny? That I'm not a good actor? Yeah. Okay. I can't get into Lavo 121 Club or whatever. Well, neither can you. Oh, and I just found out that I lost my e somewhere. No, you didn't, dog. Yeah, I did. It was here the whole time. No, it wasn't. That's a bum out. Um, we play this again. I want to hear the rest of her going off on Charlemagne. Oh, okay. Good for the people that said no. Well, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on, let's look at that. <laughs> Little Wayne, who co-signed Drake and Nicki Minaj, is the same person who co-signed me. I've won a BET award with Young Money. I got songs with French Montana, YG, Ty Dolla Sign, Snoop Dogg. Mind you, I did it's like, hey, sit down, Chanel West Coast. Why does she Charlotte? not look good in anything she I tries to flaunt? <laughs> I don't know. When she was sitting there, she looked good. I didn't realize that her fucking jean shorts go up to her <laughs> shoulder blades. And I also didn't realize that she just had fucking shoestrings around her legs. <laughs> like fucking pot roast. She's dressed like the fucking rock. She's dressed like Marty Jannetty. <laughs> She's dressed like, uh, what do they call that? The fucking, when they roll the meat with everything? Uh, yeah. The brajol? The brajol. <laughs> she, 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 her legs are like brajol. Brajol with him because he respected me so much after I spoke my mind to him he still came back and did a song with me why are you me. talking with your hands though you don't know my musical track record bro you don't, don't know my musical track language. record sorry we, we, okay. all, we all know it now though oh, yeah. we just played it all and it is not good Charlemagne's right he's absolutely correct musical track record so get from me ugh ugh but you know what good for Charlemagne just sitting in the pocket and realizing that he was gonna go put her on donkey the other day is it really good yeah, it's, it's a good speech. Encounter earlier this year on MTV's ridiculousness. Let's hear it in case you're not familiar. My only strategy is just to tell the truth. It's like whatever I said about you, I'm no, going to say You can fast forward it to where, yeah. 
So he plays the whole thing, which is pretty cool. He doesn't yeah. like cut it out. Yeah. Like shit she said. Because you hear the crowd cheering. They yeah. weren't cheering for him. Uh, I'm a big Charlamagne the God fan, I think. Tonight on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, you know, West Coast was trying to convince a producer named A1 to do something that no producer really wants to do, and that's record music with her. <laughs> Last night, Chanel West Coast asked the producer A1 about helping her make some mayonnaise music. Yes, Chanel wanted to know if A1 is interested in helping her provide a soundtrack for her unseasoned chicken breast. <laughs> and A1 had to remind her that back in the day when I wanted to work with you, you played me. Oh, yes, we've heard this tale before. Back then, you didn't want me. Now I'm hot they all on me. Mike Jones! That's what happened with Chanel and A1 last night on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Can we hear a bit of this, please? I rap and sing, and I really like the beats. So we should definitely link up. Yeah, just so you can get familiar, like, I was with Lil Wayne and Young Money. Like, I sat and played all my music for Lil Wayne, and I have songs with French Montana. She keeps music. saying that Lil Wayne thing. Is he really? Did he really I, co-sign her? I swear to God. I was Hardcore on, co-signed her. I was like, I was on so much lean. Oh, <laughs> little Weezy. I didn't even know who she was. I thought she was the flight attendant. That's how high I was. I thought she was Fabio. I called her Fabio. I go, Fabio, why you want me to co-sign it, little Weezy? I'm going to co-sign this blonde lady. Oh, Stewardess, I speak jive. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. That's why you got to treat everyone with respect, because you never know who's going to be who, okay? Basically, A1 told the deli owner to hold the mayonnaise. Now, when the mayo that is Chanel West Coast wasn't allowed on A1 sandwich, when she got introduced... What is mayo mean? Yeah, what, what is mayo? Is white people. Is that it? White music. Oh, white, really? White rap. Mayo? Yeah. That's sort of derogatory, isn't it? Yeah, white people like mayonnaise. <laughs> Black people like mayonnaise? Lou, do you hate mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. Lou loves mayonnaise. He also has a white wife. I love it. <laughs> That's how we get you. In fact, everybody I know who hates mayonnaise are white people. I love mayonnaise. I'm a man as guy. I'm a burping. I'm a burping. Wait, we can't hear what you say. Illusions are considered <laughs> extremely odd, uh, highly implausible, and inappropriate based on the person's culture and life experiences. Okay, an example of a bizarre, a bizarre delusion would be the belief that an alien performed surgery and replaced all your blood with Kool Aid without leaving the scar. Okay, are Chanel West Coast thinking she's on the same level as Drake and Kanye West because Charlemagne has so-called dissed all of them? I have been I have been very specific about any reason why I wasn't feeling Drake and Kanye about something, but those guys are extremely talented. Just like with you, Chanel, I think you're a lovely person, but you're just a whack artist. Okay, I think Donald Trump is whack, and I've said that he's whack a bunch of times on this radio, but that don't make you the president, does it, Chanel? Doesn't make you one of the highest politicians in the world, does it? Just because I diss you and Donald Trump. Chanel, you're a whack rapper, okay? You have done music with all of those people. You got this long track record, and it's gotten you absolutely nowhere. You have every musical cheat code known to man, and you keep failing. What you know a great what analogy. Say? What a fucking great analogy. Damn, Charlemagne's good. Let's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a good breakdown. Let's, yeah, let's just go to her. I mean, let's. should we take a commercial and come back with her? Losing her shit? Oh, no, we can watch a very short video, I think. Because I got to pee. But oh, you have to pee? Well, if you have to pee. I got to yeah. make a sissy. Go make a sis. Can I make a sissy? You have to yeah. run really far. I know. Go run I'm really gonna go down. far. Uh, okay, and then we'll be right back after right this now? commercial break on the bonfire. Are we really going crackle, to break? Crackle. Crackle. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Fuck bitches. Yeah. Solid, solid business plan. Get it in the <laughs> if you know how. I go, I go and I sign girls off ridiculousness because I'm high on lean and I don't know where I am. And that, that blonde lady look like a nurse. Look like a nurse. Look like a nurse. That show has, that show has some sort of like, I mean, it's, it's, it's got a following. Like hell, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, Sarah McPants saying what you watch Robin Big on MTV. She know West Coast talk like a regular ass white girl. What does that mean, regular ass white girl? Like this, like. What are you doing? What's funny about that is Sarah McPants wrote that as like she used to talk like a regular ass white yeah. girl. <laughs> sorry, sorry to bother you, Sarah McPants, while you're getting your nails did. 
<laughs> and then Banana Peel sure. replies, I have the full series on DVD, son. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh, by the way, we're getting, for all of our female fans, grills for this Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's getting gold yeah. fronts. McPants gets gold fronts. Banana Peel gets gold fronts. Stop it. Everybody gets gold fronts. Everyone. Just send your teeth measurements to Jacob and Todd. <laughs> yeah, get your mold sent in. Get your mold sent in to Jacob, and he'll take care of it. Oh, he's down. We all know Jacob not in studio today because he's working the Florida lanes. He's down there hustling people. That's right. He goes, yeah, you rolled a, you rolled a 260. Oh, I, I just pop in here for the pretzels. I got 5K that says he can't do that again. <laughs> <sighs> just picking it up. Old 300 batat. That's great. So... Chanel West Coast is where we're at. Yeah. She has been apparently busy making a bunch of scenes out and about. The one I'd like to get into first... Which is the reason we brought her up to begin with. Uh, is this one I found was her getting denied from a club and just having like a, a real bitch fit. Uh, that's not this one, Christine. Sorry, sir. This one here. Well, Chanel West Coast denied at club has a meltdown. Can I TMZ. just say, as someone that hates clubs... That there's nothing better than someone getting denied from a club. Like, I fucking hate the whole club. Even when I was drinking, and uh, I remember one time Nate and I got hammered in a story, and we just ended up at a club, and I was like, really? what are we doing here? It was an me, actual club? Yeah, it was me, Nate, and Chris Stefano. Don't you have to be, like, dressed nice to go to a club? I don't know how we got in there, dude. We were hammered. We went to the beer garden. Things got blurry. <laughs> All I knew was that I was down in shots of tequila at some fucking dance club in Astoria. And Nate's like, this is great. I was like, this is awful and I want to leave. This is when Nate lived in Astoria? No, this is when he lived in Middle Village. Right oh, okay. around the corner from you. That's so goddamn funny. At a dance club. Well, I have been inside, and I'll overestimate, six dance clubs in my life. Like, were you going to the club or were you going to... No, I never was... Going out to the club. I you think you'd go out to the club in that sweatshirt. Oh, that yeah. Sweatshirt. Let motherfuckers know, for sure. Yeah, let them know you cross yeah, the dressed up. Hey, what's up? I'm Dan. No, I haven't. I come out once in a while. Dan, do me a favor. Give me a whiskey sal. I'm going to hit the dance floor. You got it. Oh. oh, Jay, don't go into our choreographed dance until I get out there. No, I usually do this with a guy. Yeah, no. We're not gay. I know it looks like we're gay. We're he'll, not gay. He'll be back in a second. He's grabbed me a whiskey sal. Ah, oh, dude, he loves whiskey sour. I can only drink beer. I got I drink beer. I don't turn it into an animal. If I drink hard liquor, I turn it into an animal. Picture this part. Usually I go up and I kick his foot, and then we back off. Can you Kick it again. Up? I know. I know. You're a very nice looking lady, and I would like to dance with you, but me and my buddy got to do this dance first. Oh, oh there he is. D-Boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that walk Woo. through the club with the two drinks. Oh. Yeah. Ready? Five, four, ten, go. Back with the face. Dance line. Best dance line. Jump. 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 <laughs> Jay, I just took three horse-sized pills of Molly in the bathroom. It's lit. Let's get down to it. It's mad lit. I've never understood the club culture. Never have. I've never understood waiting in line to go in somewhere. And the line is re reliant on other people deciding they're ready to leave. Yeah. <laughs> you have to wait the one in to one leave. Out, the one in, one out rule only works on roller coasters for me. That's the only reason I want. Yeah. Uh, the best was... Lewis got hammered at my house like seven years ago. We were watching UFC. Hammered. Wearing cargo shorts and sandals and a tank top. Perfect. <laughs> Lewis was in shape and it was the summer. I lived down the street from this fucking Euro Trash dance club uh -huh. where you have to be like, Euro Trash dance clubs are different because you have to be like 23. It's something crusty to get in, like 23 and a half where you're like, oh, that's why you're... you're that. You have to weigh 12 stone. You have yeah. to have one yeah. eyebrow. You have to be born under a Greek storm. Um, you have to own a purple button down that gets very sweaty very fast. You have to drive an Audi A4, but only from... Uh, only one before <laughs> night... Uh, from 2007. Uh, uh, a necklace and a ring, both with the same symbol of something on it. You have to have a girlfriend who has an insane body that you just know is going to go wonky in three years. <laughs> Uh, but Lewis just is like, we're like walking the train. He's like, I'm going to try to get in this club. I'm like, dude, that's not going to happen. And it was like dance club. And they're like, the guy's like, dude, you don't got shoes on. You got to have shoes on. It's like, that's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Oh, wow. I guess. Yeah. Oh, good. Right good in here. You just throw it at him and they can't not do it. I knew it. DJ hit it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Bittersweet Symphony? <laughs> what is this, a Gatorade commercial for the Super Bowl? Someone said Euro Trash. Good club scene, Lou. <laughs> yeah, cool. I've been to Europe, and this is what they play. That's not true. They don't play it's slow melodic. They wouldn't let me in because I had trainers on. That means sneakers. Is that what they call them over there? Yeah, you can't come in without with your trainers on. Fucking Euros. You went to Europe, Lou? Yeah, see, Pearl Jam, I'm going to Amsterdam. Of course. Oh, that makes sense. That was good. Like, you so, just fucking took a cultural vacation in Europe. Lou was like, yeah, I just wanted to go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I wanted to go to Lyon, see the Canary Islands of Spain. Uh, let's, so let's go to this video of Chanel West Coast getting kicked out of a club, and she has a meltdown. Not which, kicked out. She's trying to get in. I could, you'd have to set up it. She's trying to get in. The security guard just couldn't give a shit. Great. TMZ. Really good. So... Her and her gaggle of friends. She's also oh, far. Also, stuff. that it's also that awesome that security guards on stilts. Yeah, that's the biggest dude I've ever seen in my life. But they're doing like definitely like a. Uh, I think he's up a step or two. But she's basically doing like the hey, I'm coming in and I'm bringing these eight people. And look, I've over I've over asked for hookups in my life. I don't do it anymore. I, I wouldn't do it again. I've uh, been over asked for hookups yeah. plenty of times. You try. It is always a weird thing. So that if I over ask for a hookup and then it comes down to like a, hey, sorry, we're not letting you go with this one. I don't have, I was I trying to get, I was trying to get four tickets for Sixers Knicks Christmas Day at the Garden. Okay. I failed. But I was trying my best. But uh, I did get offered two from somebody or someone was like, I can get you a hookup for two. Yeah. And I was like, well, I need four. I was like, I, I'm taking three other people. So I go, so don't worry about it. Yeah, that's, that's what nice. I say. I go, it's, it's, a polite, like, it's a polite way of I, saying no. Well, it's a polite way of also going like, here's what I actually need. Yeah. If that's a thing, you know what I mean? If Regardless, you're being but, but polite. So, but exactly. But my whole point is going like, but with no expectation, you're going like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to take the two because I need yeah. four. I'm letting other people down. So forget it. So I get, I can't let all these people in and leaving, seeing like that, flipping your shit. Because of that, that shows you something that, else. That shows you that you're not VIP. Hi, I'm Dan Soder from MTV 2s Guy Court, and I'm going to show you the VIP rules. <laughs> Number one, act VIP. If you're there, you're a very important person. <laughs> if you can't get in, don't get mad, because that means you're not a very yeah. I mean, I, this is going to be exactly what I think it is. She's going to be she's going to start yelling at a bouncer. It's another instance of white girls yelling at black bouncers. Well, she has a bunch. She has enough black people in her crew, though. Why are there so many fingerprints on that screen? What's happening there? What do you think? Does Fugel saying kiss his own picture? I was just going to say that. God damn it. I was just going to say that. Where We walk in and he goes, hey, bye, handsome. I'll see you after the holidays. Hey, 2018, let's take the house back. <laughs> so, oh, she's already losing it. She's already unglued in 17 Way seconds. Early. Way early. I Oh, I love him. Reclosing the chain on her. He looks like the actor that died. And she's talking about uh, Michael Clark, Clark Duncan. Clark Duncan. <laughs> she, she, wait, she just called him, instead of calling him Green Mile, she just called him the actor that died? Yeah, you look like the actor that died, yo. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. We got bit. You and we got bitch. I waited here for seven hot girls for way too long. Way too pop in the fucking way to get it. Poppy. By the way, pause it. She came with seven hot girls. All I see is dudes with pink hair and like other big black guys. It looks like she just came with her stylist crew. It looks like she came with hot girls. There's like one girl that looks like a Janet Jackson backup dancer. <laughs> yeah. I give it to her. No. I mean, you know, get the fuck out of here. What? What's going on, Chanel? Oh, God, these fucking TMZ reporters are such cunts. Hey, Chanel, what's going on? You can't get in the club? By the way, by the way, another thing with her. Look, go back a second on this video. Just get in still frame it when she turns around. Another weird thing. What are titties, listen, though? Listen, Damn. I know, but here's the thing also. Damn. She's wearing a thing to show off. Like, her titties make her look like she's 40. They're in the middle of her body. They're like down, way down her... Fucking like uh, right on our belly. I can't go with you on this one, Jay. I like those titties. Uh, 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 they're big titties, but uh, they're really mind. low never titties. Mind. Yeah, never mind. I didn't see the angle at yeah, which they yeah. slope down. Back up, Christine. Let the angle get a, a, a little dose of that in his face again. Yeah. What's going on, Chanel? <sighs> Look at these mom tits. What happened, Chanel? Yeah. They're so low. Fuck them. 
again. Y'all it's two feet there. between her cleavage to chin. Yeah. Yeah, you really could. You could put a whole hors d'oeuvre tray. Yeah, you could serve sushi off that bitch. <laughs> That's why you security. You'll never do more than security. I, there needs to be a couple. I, I own my own security company, lady. Stoop. It's actually quite a great living. I actually, I work reasonably short hours for good money. <laughs> I'm getting my master's. This is just a job to make ends meet until I get my doctorate in sciences. I'm putting my daughter through veterinarian school. Veterinarian school? I said that right, right? Oh, God, I'm dumb. <laughs> Love Chanel. <laughs> Wait, pause it again. I love the TMZ always like, she's like, that's why you always go be security, motherfucker! And they're like, hey Chanel, what's going on, club stuff? I fucking hate, yeah, the TMZ reporter thing is the worst. Well, this guy must be tripping, huh? Can you believe the Chanel West Coast Dude, is caught have... tripping outside of the club? TMZ and like historical things, like the fucking Selma march, where they're like, Martha, Martin, what's going on? You're walking across the bridge, huh? <laughs> See what happens when this particular Negro has a dream. Watch out when these fire hoses get turned <laughs> on a peaceful protest. <laughs> Prepare to see these hoses get turned up. And turned up. We're talking Selma, Alabama. <laughs> Equal rights, more like water fight. <laughs> like, oh, more on. like water fight. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, Jesus, guys. And when like, the water's out to play, yeah. the nips come to stay. Oh, I mean, ha uh, 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 uh. Rodney, what's going on with the cops? They seem like they're treating you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> shit kicked out of them. TMZ's filming it. Hey, Rodney, Mr. Rodney, any rumors true that you're on crack right now? Is that why you're fighting? <laughs> Hey, what do you say, General Lee? You feel like you're fighting a losing war or what? <laughs> Tim McVeigh, do you really feel like you took down the government with that bomb? <laughs> do you know, do you still talk to Terry Nichols? Is he around? Osama, I'd say his beard looks like he's nervous he's going to get caught. Oh, TMZ reports world news. <laughs> TMZ world news. Dude, <laughs> fucking, it should be a sketch, dude. TMZ world news should be something we should copyright this minute. And do over and over and over again. Well, TMZ I'm down. World News. Can you audio copyright? <laughs> audio copyright. Well, I just said it. I just said it on air, so now it's ours. Audio sure. copyright. You can't do nothing. That's not how the law no take, works. Dan. Shut up. Shut up, Lou. No take backsies. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wrote it down on a piece of paper, mailed it to myself. I mailed it right now. I took a picture on my phone. It's got a day and a time of when I came up with TMZ World News. It's uh, me holding a newspaper with the idea TMZ World News. I feel like you guys don't believe me, but I just created it. I just created an empire. Uh, <laughs> oh, this. All right. Insecure about their own life. Wish you no. could be a little white girl. Dude, I would love if he goes. You wish bitch, you're too ugly to get in the club. Just shuts her down. Uh, She's did, like, she say, oh, yeah. did she say you wish you could be a white girl rapper? No, she did. No, go back. I think go back. She just said. Go she back. Said go back. Because yeah. that's a garbage to a new level. She's turned, honey. Because they insecure about their own life. Wish you could be a little white girl rapping, bitch. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. This what? is like she got her ego bruised in front of her friends, and now she's trying to, like, look like she's a somebody again. By the way, the face of the guy that's taking a picture of her doing that is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. It's just like someone's coming kind of Latvian immigrants. Like, oh, yes. Ooh, look at the wife girl gets angry. <laughs> I take these back to go to the village and show people American white women are told no sometimes. Look, they get no, they act so crazy like they don't know place look like at, used to. <laughs> look at women who yell without fist to face immediately. Yes, yes. Get angry, you silly pants. Get angry. Uh, what you don't know is I'm also be the Uber you order. <laughs> yeah. Who's the fruitcake over here with the pink hair? Yes, make him smile and angry too. Oh, bubblegum face. <laughs> this is very good time watching American woman not be punished and have her feet burned. Hey, Pinkie Pie, turn around, make face with yeah. lady. Yes, Cut. touch very low tits, yeah. yes? Ah, oh, yes, no, she has uh, tits <laughs> of grandmother. But you get that cotton candy head? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, yeah, I, this is just making me mad. Can... Fuck off, I don't care who's filming me. I came with eight she fucking hot not. girls, apple from black eyed peas, motherfucking popping people. Fuck off, bitch. Go let it. By the way, do you think apple from black eyed peas is kind of like 
please don't. Yes, so, 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 like, so, so, I don't know you. Right, like, do not. Please don't. Fuck it. <sighs> By the way, her, all of her arguments involve her yelling at other people she knows. Yeah. I don't know why you won't let me a thing. Lil Wayne, Drake. I fucking brushed shoulders one time with Jay-Z in an elevator. Oh, man. I get you crazy. I watched, J.J. Dynamite Walker from Good Times. I watched Cal Ripken play as an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for Nolan Ryan's retirement game after the streak. It's crazy. I know so many people. I watched Kobe put up 70. Oh, me and Omar Epps one time was sitting across from each other on airplane. Dude, yeah, it's just great to watch. I mean, her not get in is great, but then it just turns into me hating all of this. Oh, I love it. Go, Everyone's filming it. No one even has shame. She has no shame to do this. And no one was any shame. Every girl there, by the way, listen, whatever her deal is, she's rolling around with these fucking group of people. These fucking goofy uh, twats outside the club with their cameras out filming her yeah. want no part of a fucking fight or a problem. No. But they just, but they're just kind of like it was not happening. He goes, oh, look, the zoo. Yeah. Look, we're at the zoo. Take it. goes, yeah. these idiots aren't behind a cage, man. Like, it's like, no, but there's no shame anymore. Dude, if I filmed a street fight ever, I'd be doing it. I'm like, you're going to think I'm doing something else on my phone. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be going, oh, yeah. what? God, those are the best guys. The guys that are getting crouch angle oh shots on street yeah. fights. Oh, like, come yeah. on, dude. What are you? What? Yo, you in my light. You in my light. Yeah. Yo, I need. Okay. Can we strike that light back there? And also, <laughs> I'm afraid we, uh, it's, it's insane to me because it's such an ego thing of like, at what point does one of Chanel's friends go, let's just go play PlayStation at your house? It's gross. It's gross because she thinks she's right in this situation. <laughs> Same thing with like hecklers, drunk guys at comedy club. It's like whatever's going through her head right now, she thinks she's in the right to the point where she's like, film me, show the world. Yeah. Now, well, here's, I'll take different from a comedy club uh, or any of these things. Everybody has a chance, especially with social media the way it is. And if you're famous and go through this, yeah. you have a chance to come back and be like, oh, I was fucking drunk, crazy out of line, super embarrassed. Let's finish this and we'll see if she has that sort of response. Suck dick. Go ahead, bitch. Okay. <laughs> TMC's just in there. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. You pissed? Are you, how, you mad pissed? Are you? how far away is your Uber? Are you super pissed? Wait, wait, wait. She's still saying stuff. Did you call an Uber? How far, how mad are you? Do you listen to Spotify? That's like questions. How far is it away? How far is your Uber away? I, wa I watch TMZ because I like questions. I you know if you cancel, they charge you $3 to $5? It's pretty bullshit, right? Look at the camera. Can you say it's bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? motherfucker asked him if he little pup, y'all racist. <laughs> little pup is not black. He's black. Why is so it don't racist? Don't fucking ask him if he's little pump, y'all racist. <laughs> she thinks he's little pump because doesn't that the hair that little pump had? Yes. Little pump died, right? Is that the one that died? No. Who died? Little Peep. Little Peep. <laughs> I can't believe I knew that. Where the hell that came from? I swear to God, I have no idea where that came from. Uh, but by the way, if there's anything involving a different or wrong code at all, they just say you're racist. Because yeah. is that Little Pump? By the way, Little Pump looks like Little Pump might be black to some degree. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But by the way, when someone's covered their face and hair in like this purple color, and you ask if this black guy is Little Pump. I don't even know why that's insulting. God, I love because it. you racist! She oh. can't wait to, like, I love white people that can't wait to defend black people just to prove to you how great they are. Mm -hmm. That's my problem with that always. Mm -hmm. It's just being like, how great am I? Look at that. Oh, you, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, if she yelled at me, I'd be like, I'm sorry I didn't know what color bubble yum is. He's fucking walking <laughs> around like a goddamn pack of gum stepped on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lil Pump's hair is fuchsia. His is hot pink. You racist! Racist against pinks. <laughs> you don't know your pinks. <laughs> Was that the kid from fucking Modern Family <laughs> at the very end? I don't know. Go back just two seconds, right there. <laughs> oh, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> they uh, so she's a maniac. Yeah, she sucks. Yeah. But you know, they go home eventually. Cooler heads prevail. Maybe she went to a less poppin club. Maybe she just took some time for herself. Maybe she got lit somewhere else. Let's see. She had a chance it's to lit. And again, by the way, this is TMZ, her explaining why she went off on the club security guard. Before we play it, I want to point out again, this is only 
a letdown on this girl's looks. Every video she gives you more and more, you're kind of going like, hey. It's like a quarter. It like falls it's like a, apart. What are, it's like a quarterback after eight weeks where you're like, I don't think we're going to win with this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. This, right. this is going to shit. <laughs> Take a look. Not like Jimmy G, most handsome man in the world. Chanel West Coast. Like, oh, what? I she looks like, like a fucking, she looks like a dead mermaid. Wow. I don't know what the fuck. Her face looks retarded. Literally. Like, there's something deformed about it. Yeah. Uh, she's got all these weird things on her eyes. Dude, I love her fucking Arn Anderson tits. Yeah. There's she's fucking... got weird little fat tits. She's, that are, that... she's built like a four horseman. <laughs> I don't know. The whole thing. And then she's in a, she's like in a tub full of water and breast implants or something. Yeah, I don't know is, what that uh, is. I don't know. This is her trying to be like crazy and weird, I guess. This I don't is know. what musicians what? have to do when they don't make good music. I guess so. Burn. One for the sewed man. Am I right? <laughs> you guys get it? Huh? You just sewed her oh. shut. Oh. Ow! I say it. Jay comes and dunks it. Very over the whole superficial life and world we live in. Um, Dude, I if, she, if, if I walked into her bathroom and she said that, I'd be like, are you? Are you about to kill yourself? Are we, <laughs> also, does anybody know? Uh, Brian from Morgan says that she looks like Minkus from Boy Meets I World. Mean, I don't know what that means, so can we bring up Minkus? Game, set, match. You fucking nailed it. How did I not think that? God damn it. <laughs> looks Thank exactly you, like Morgan. Minkus. Brian from Oregon. Fucking <laughs> beyond the arc. Nailing it. That's the, <laughs> she does look like I mean, that. she looks exactly like Minkus. <laughs> she has Minkus face. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's like, like Linda Hamilton, like... Jaw, like she's got a very watch your mouth about Sarah Connor, dog. She's got a very strong fucking jaw, man. Like she's a she's odd looking almost. This is just, but her saying that she's over superficial shit as she's laying in a bathtub dressed weird with TMZ in the room and breast implants. It's like what? Did, you what you are the definition of superficial. Go play. Club. I had just finished my gig at the Peppermint Club, came with what? a group of my friends, my very close friends, best friends, friends I would never ditch for anything. And we went to Poppy, and a guy in the front basically, like, whispered to me, like, hey, bring your cutest friend, ditch the rest. And in my drunken state, I was like, what? Like, I was so offended. I was like, do you think I'm just a horrible human? Pause this. I feel like I'm dating someone that I don't want to date and have to listen to their conversation. (laughs) This is fucking awful. This is awful. My head hurts. Not me. I'm just nodding, and I'm going through her junk mail for her. Oh, my God. (laughs) I just fell fell under her spell. I'm like, what do you want me to do, baby? You want me to get your slippers ready, baby boo? If I was leaning leaning against the sink as she's saying this, I'd be like, just get in the water. Go down, go down the water. Just lay in the water. Just go. I bet you can't hold your breath five minutes. I bet you can't. I bet, I bet you can't you shut your eyes and hold your breath. I bet you ain't as badass motherfuckers, David Blaine. I bet you can't fight. I bet you can't fight me off me holding you underwater. <laughs> it's just like no remorse whatsoever trying to spin it so it sounds like she's a good person or a victim. That's gross. While she's wearing, by the way, I'm not in the superficial shit. She's wearing like Mr. T jewelry in the fucking bathtub. Yeah. yeah. Friends or like, do you think my friends aren't cool enough? And it just really offended me that it was like, bring your cutest friend and ditch the rest of your friends. I'm like, who does that? Like, only a bad friend. Every does that. I other don't do that. woman in the club. <laughs> Every woman in the club who walked up with more than three people. I started yelling back a lot of defensive comments that I shouldn't have said. You know, I maybe stooped down to the level. And I'm gonna be honest too. I saw a camera guy filming, and I was like. Hey, maybe if I act a little crazier, I'll get some attention. Because at this point, I can't mm. ask this. Ah, shut up! Thank you. Lord. Also, what's, like, she was, maybe I said the things I shouldn't have said. I, I stooped down to his level. But what level did you stoop? The security guys don't Didn't really, stoop at all. They don't really stoop levels. They go, I'm, I'm sorry, we can't let you in like that. And when your foot goes, fuck you, you piece of shit. You know, you know what? I'm not going to be like you. I'm not going to do my job. You're doing your job, and I'm not going to stoop to your level. I'm saying her, saying that. Know. You know what? You know what? I'm not going to lose my shit and be a piece of shit like you. Lower, I'm not going to lower my down stuff to some piece of shit like you tell me that you can't let me in because that's the job. They tell you they're not allowed to let people in like Because that. there's a head count and the fire marshal might get upset if too many people are in. I'm not going to come down to your level and say some shit like that. You know what? I'm not going to go to the fire marshal's level. I'm not even going to go down to his level. I don't care about crowding one in, one out. I don't even care world has come down to right. i think that the only way to get attention is to act like a complete ignorant fool i mean what are you doing right now 
Oh, fuck, we're in trouble. Oh, she's getting attention. I know. Why us? Why <laughs> yeah, her the thing that absolutely. we don't Absolutely. Oh, man, I just, I'm just part of the, I'm a cog in the machine now, baby. You know what? I don't try to rise above. I'm just going to I'll eat. dive right into the muck with this chick. Can I just say right now, let me eat my kibbles and bits. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll kiss this chick on the mouth. Take Dude, her to the club. You're right. I'm sorry. We're in the shit. We've got Catch Me Outside girls and oh. people like that who, you know, act like complete fools and they get fame for it. So... I'll be honest, I put a little extra on it. I was going to say, we, we got a lot of traction on the website you know, that day. So just, thank you for that. So she's lying. I, she's aspiring also, to be like a 14 year old nut job. Yeah, also, no, she's lying though. She's making now, in, she's doing the hindsight. Like, so I figured I'd put it on a little bit for the cameras. Like, now, like, no, you you're, a, you're a, a twatty chick that would do that. And again, TMZ camera guy. So we, I mean, we got a lot of hits on the website that day. So I guess I should thank you for driving up ad revenue. I mean, really, yeah. I mean, <laughs> pieces of shit. It's, I'm sorry. It's, uh, yeah, keep playing it. Well, just, you know, to hype it up and get some attention. Because God forbid I get any attention for being the normal, hardworking, kind person I am. Oh, you know who's not hardworking? People who say they're hardworking. She's so proud of herself. Yeah, not like a hardworking like security guy who's got to throw people out and deal with drunk people coming at him constantly. He's got to work till violence. Got to work till four in the morning. Make sure there's no violence happening all the time. Always worried about his back. Oh my god! Sometimes he doesn't have someone checking his six. He needs that. I mean, no. Sh- I mean, you know, we talked to like Steve, Big Daddy Steve, and Calvin, mm-hmm. and all those guys who are the shit at their job. Man, they're great. Uh, the door guys, the seller, and I mean, yeah. like that's fucking. You talk to those guys on a weekend, you're like, how's night so far? Because I already had to, yep. you know, carry one guy out and stop a guy from hitting his chick. And there's another, you know, it's always some shit. Those guys always, yeah, they have to deal with a lot of shit. And then, so, and then a girl comes and it's like, I'm sorry, I can't let all of eight of your friends. They go, fuck you, you wish you were a white girl rapper. Yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> sorry, I just did the thing I was supposed to do. There's another video of, oh, we have Danielle Brigioli. Well, wait, let's take our second break. Right. Okay, and we'll go back. And uh pee like a motherfucker. It's a pee again? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you could pee. We'll figure it out. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Don't get a little wheezy. No, that's, that's not a different old. version. Do you know that's this version? That's the one with Chanel West, dog. No. No, I'm kidding. That'd be great. Yo, yo, he, 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 hey, in the club, but no, you a stupid security guard. I'm a uh, white girl in a bathtub. I take a tub with some breath and put and dip up, up, do. Christine did find some pictures of her looking pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Chanel West goes, when they, when they gussy her up for a thing, they can make her look pretty good. I love, I love good. Just calling it gussy up. Uh, it's Bonfire, Conversation Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. We're talking about Chanel West Coast because she got kicked out of a club and didn't handle it well. But Big J, well, he's going to be handled, I don't know. I'll that kick was, your ass out of a club. Goddamn right you will. <laughs> don't think and that. that club will be? Hartford Funny Bone. <laughs> Thursday, January 4th through Saturday, January 6th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Don't think you're coming in with all eight of your friends. I don't care if Apple from Black Eyed Peas is there. I don't care if Peach... <laughs> From uh, Run DMC. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Dan Soder going to be at the Albany Funny Bone Thursday, December 28th through Saturday, December 30th. Uh, and then it'll be at the San Francisco Punchline Thursday, <sighs> January 4th through Saturday, January 6th. Get tickets at DanSoder.com. Uh, and as always, follow us at the Bonfire 6M on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, we're going to be in San Fran so few days apart from each other. Like two. Yeah, three days, or three, three oh, days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aw. But we're doing a lot of shows here. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. Yes, I will, uh, I'll be giving them, I'll get them all lubed up for you. Oh, thanks, bud. There. Oh, thanks, get bud. All... Get all hot and bothered. Yeah. Uh, this is what I do. I just go, uh, I go like this. <laughs> Can I admit it? something yeah. now? Uh huh, sure. What's up? I'm the only guy who could fuck this girl. Everyone's a fucking faggot. Yeah. Jacob, we get Jesus, it. Jesus, man. He gets bowling alley gruff when he, he really does. When he he's on the tour? Gets a couple of Miller High Lives in him, he's just a different dude. MGDs. Yeah, all day. That's the answer. So, she says in that weird, uh, tub, tubpology. <laughs> tubpology is the best way to call it. Um, she takes a nice shit on our, on our home girl. Uh, Danny B, Danielle Brajoli, Cash Me Outside, Bad Baby, you know her, you love her, and, uh, I, I think she kind of in a hilarious way <laughs> takes, like, an interesting road on this one. She doesn't go as, like, ghetto as, like, 
You'd think she would. Oh, she's all refined? She's like, well, no, I, believe, not refined. I believe women in this current climate can't necessarily go against each other. We have sexual harassment and the patriarchy to worry about. No. Like, what, Danielle? She's like, I'm kidding. I eat, I eat Skittles while I suck dick. <laughs> go, oh, God damn it. You're a fucking child. Shut up. I'll make your dick look like a little pump head. I don't know. You ever do a, you ever do a line of fun dip and then suck a dude dick? <laughs> So, obviously, you saw... Again, like, all TMZ reporters are garbage people. Yeah. Let it be known. Let it be known. <laughs> I'm saying it right here. I'm taking a real stance. Put them on notice. I said about you yesterday. You know what's crazy? I did not know who that raggedy bitch was an hour ago. I just found out who she was. I swear I did not know who this girl was. Like... Coming for me for what? Like, if you're gonna come for me, at least make sure that I know who you are. Or else you just look stupid. I mean, you look stupid, period, coming for me anyway. But, no matter who you are. What did you think about what she said to you? Like, that you're the, the only way to get attention is to act like an ignorant fool. I mean, that's... My phone's gonna die. <laughs> I mean, that is That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in yeah, my life. I knew that little Easter egg was in there. I, I didn't want oh, to. I thank you for not ruining that. A woman me. just walks by, just lives her day, and she's like, "Oh, oh, shit." No, All that's right. the best. She goes, my phone's going to die. I got to so, get my phone's going to die. God damn it. Please go back. That's so great. That's just the age we live in right now. Where it's just some nothing celebrity getting interviewed on the street, and then some woman's like, get out of my way. My phone's going to die. <laughs> that's so great. I right mean, here. That's, my phone's going to die. Okay. Really cool. Like, Why are you announcing it? That, I, I stop her. I go, do you know who you're talking to? That's bad Barbie. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Shit. I used to say Barbie, too. There's no R in there. Thanks for It looks like it's supposed to be. It's because of black Barbie. Mm. That's why I think that's why that's that way. Bims. Bims. <laughs> Cash around sign. 14-year-old girl. She you know West Coast can't get in. She's there. <laughs> she know West Coast and Megan can't get in. Can't get in. Dogs, Dogs are in. in. Dogs are in. Running around. <laughs> Dogs are in. Black Barbie's in. Bad Barbie out. Boom. <laughs> Bad Barbie out. She's got cans. She's a child. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> she know West Coast in low tits like them. Attainable. Yeah. I got to go legal over illegal. Legal. <laughs> Telling me, all I see was her, and I was like, I don't know who that is. So I didn't even pay no mind. But I don't even. I don't, whatever. <laughs> and then, and the then dog starts barking. Yeah, she just gets fucking super high up like a helium balloon. I like she just writes her off though. It's fucking great. Ah, I hate to say it, but she took the high road. <sighs> I definitely can say, without a doubt in my mind, that I like Danielle Brajoli more than I like Chanel West Coast. Yes. Chanel West Coast is a full-grown adult woman acting that way. Wait, wait what did you say? Oh, it, why, why are you coming like that? Singular. Did I say singular? Did I nail it? Okay. Now I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> what was she like saying? Adult the women? No, I, adult I, I don't know. Women. I don't know. I don't know with her. It goes screwy. Really? Well, man, How women. Have I ever caught it? I don't know. You caught it one time, like, way early on. You're like, do you not she know how to say women? Yeah, you did. You did catch it. You did yeah. say that to her on the show. Christine yeah. says woman instead of women. No, she says woman. She says woman instead of women. And he said women. Women. A whole bunch of women. Wo- she'll say like a whole bunch women. of women were there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's so gross. I need to fix it. What a doof. Yeah, Guys, it's so hey, doofy. Hey, listen, this still might be the Molly talking, but we gotta be more me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you I apologize gotta... to us for doing that in the bathtub with rest of us? <laughs> you want me to take mushrooms and give you a real mushroom <laughs> apology? Where I go. You know, I really think what is women, but it is plural woman. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I had uh, apple, apple the apples there. <laughs> Do you want to just like go watch the stars? Um, now, what we wanted to dive into, just for a little bit longer, and see how good these are. If not, we got some plenty of other stuff. But uh, Chanel West Coast has been. This is not her first rodeo with being a fucking dumb. Dude, I, lo- I mean, <laughs> if you can YouTube you being an asshole in more than one video, hey, stop. Well, she, it's, you know, the hard work and all that. What Charlemagne was dead on is it's like she has had all these opportunities handed to her and she just doesn't have the talent to really like persevere yeah. and get to the she next She never level played that a way. demo for somebody, including Little Wayne, where they were like, oh, we gotta get you. It's everything she has is based off of like her commitment to look. And I her, guarantee her commitment to the attitude of yeah. like, you know, it's like white girl, like, you know, uh, appropriating and I, her black vernacular or whatever the bullshit is. I guarantee doing. she had a manager pitch her. So like little Wayne, like listen, she's got a fan base. Can you sign off on this? Right, probably can... a bunch of followers. She probably came into a bunch. Of, her career's probably started with having a bunch of followers for being a person who posts nonstop. Yeah. Oh, shopping. You know, I got to get that wheat bread. What's, what's up, Insta Story? 
I'm Chanel West Coast, not to be confused with Chanel East Coast. She black. <laughs> <laughs> she different. She Persian something. She went to Temple. <laughs> she went to Temple. <laughs> So this is her getting arrested. Well, we have we have two. We have her ridiculous arrest, and we have her throwing a tantrum at Co- after Ooh, Coachella. Denial. What do we go with there? Uh, first? I'll we tell you this right now. I want a Coachella fucking freak out. And then, first. yeah, this one's yeah. and for as awful as TMZ reporters are, great clips. I mean, dude, I'll tell you this: they are the shit bags, but they're goddamn if they don't do good celebrity and I think, No, they're there. Well, I think TMZ works like people just send them videos. So I think anybody can take a video on the street. You just have to be a snarky TMZ. asshole while you're filming it. Yeah. That's the rule. <laughs> oh, you do. They consider themselves like. Uh, they're there's a kid who used to yep. hang out here. They mm-hmm. said he was a TMZ reporter, but I don't think he's like on the staff of TMZ. Mm-hmm. I, I think he just like they know. They like just he, take he, he's a regular them. submitter. Got it. Like, for, to TMZ. Kind of like I, how I we, he has, I don't think he's like, a, like he, he's like I got to go to my office. <laughs> he's like, oh god, I was at TMZ late last night. Apparently, <laughs> Ashley Simpson's launching a new brand. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be in the office. I got to burn the midnight oil. Well, Cash Me Outside's gonna do her own cartoon now, so I'll uh, talk to her about that. I gotta really get in deep. I'm, I'm embedded with the Team 10 for a month. <laughs> yeah. Lenny Kravitz farted on a talk show. I gotta, I gotta go get to the bottom of this baby. Puts out, he stubs out a cigarette. Well, I'll be here till 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, because Fergie shit herself in public. Not, not, <laughs> I, I don't, we won't change subjects at all on this, but I just want you to know, I got a, a text from uh, Lynn, who was the manager of ZO2, yeah, that was the band in the show Z Rock I was on, and they're very tied into uh, you know friends with Kiss, and says that our George Lopez Kiss Cruise information is incorrect. They were there, so they might know something better. But we watched that video of George Lopez getting booted off the Kiss Cruise. I wasn't here. Oh, uh, we talked about. Oh, Why do you do that? Fenoia Why do you bring up something that Fenoia and you enjoy? <laughs> act like it was something I enjoyed. George Lopez got booed. You can catch me outside <laughs> crying. <laughs> let's just go with the clip. Catch I don't, me outside. I don't even care. I don't even want to watch this. Well, let's watch her Coachella tantrum. Oh, oh my God. God. I mean, she is just an asshole. I'm not talking about drinking. Who's Liam? Oh, she's the worst. They're all so, so little. Yeah. <laughs> her and all of her little people she yeah, hangs out like with. like little pixies. I don't understand. Why can't we come in? We take I, up such little space. I told you that the yellow brick road leads to the main stage. <laughs> you wouldn't let me go down it. Now you're going to see my fists of fury. <laughs> oh, what a fucking knob. Wow. Her boyfriend, Liam Horn, dating but not without rumors of breakup. Please, God, let's hear what bullshit he... Oh, she gets him to take shithead pictures. Yeah, that's great. Christine was showing me that my sisters get uh, <laughs> are able to get their boyfriends to take shithead pictures like this. Like, <laughs> good. let's put, let's both put on teal and take and take a handholdy picture in a love sunset. It. Love it. I like no, your you sisters don't. Are good, Did man. you ever get talked to that shit? Oh no, no, no! But I love that your sisters do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, come on, BB. <laughs> so her, so Chanel and her boyfriend have a bunch of those too. Yikes! It's so funny when you puss up a guy with face tattoos. Oh, and you realize he was just a puss the whole time who got face tattoos. Twenty one turns out the face tattoo anybody. Twenty. Yeah. You, you don't. Have to have to like fight the guy that does it. You don't even have to do anything. You just walk in and they'll do it. It used to be some sort of a Maori tribal yeah. tough guy tradition. Now you can just go to a place and go, "Hey, can you tattoo uh, ice cream cone on my cheeks?" Dude, Twenty One Savage was that was the most. That was the worst case of that situation. He goes, I mean, I guess the one on my temples hurt the most. What, baby? Hey, I go bring her fresh squeeze orange juice. Hold on. Hold, on, hold, on, hold up. I got to hold her hand. She's getting nervous when she talk. I mean, she's she not a good public speaker. What's wrong, boo-boo? You want me to do something? You want me to carry up these two steps? I'm going to rub your butt. That's two steps right there. I'm going to rub your butt. I'm going to rub your booty cakes. I'm going to rub your booty cakes. I'm going to rub your cakes. Who is this? This is Liam Horn. This is Chanel's boyfriend. Our poor fans, we really drag them into a world they never asked to be dragged into. Yeah, they're giving all the information about it ever. Oh, they're just driving home. They don't want to know about Chanel West Coast. Is this him? Sure, no. Is this the guy? Yeah. He doesn't look the guy that was in the picture. Maybe the face tattoos are new. Nah, I'm good. I'm off. I don't get the music at all. What? What kind of music is that? Wow, it's not a good when the video is like the video is louder than the music playing in the video. Also, is he singing? Is that his voice? Oh yeah, he's since gotten the face. Does he have a Does he have a Wayne Newton voice? 
<laughs> you too. Dr. Shane Thailand. Dr. Shane. You too. I think you got a great voice. Hey, Chanel West. Come. Hey, Chanel. Don't worry about it. We don't have to go to that club. How much do you want to bet <laughs> he's fucking there at that club and he's just... It, I mean, you can look at this little Twinkie and see for sure. If they're outside of a club, she's doing all the screaming, and he's like, Come on, baby. We don't have to do <laughs> Hey, baby, I got, I'll get yeah. an Uber. We don't have to worry about it. Listen, I don't go by my legal name, Newton, for yeah. a reason. I don't want to grab my grand, I don't want to drag my grandpa into this it's shit. Like, you don't even really want me here anyway. Yeah, 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 let's just go home. Let's we'll just relax. I'll give you a massage. Let's go home, Bobby Bill. Oh, oh my God. You want me to draw you a nice, oh. want me to draw you a nice breast implant by hand? Yeah. Do, you want, do you want me to, do you want me to draw your back and toss some breast implants in? <laughs> want me That's to draw great. you a breast. So he's got a whole new look in, within their relationship to now he's like a weird shaves in his head and face tattoos. Dude, I can't wait for 10 years. I like 10 years. Hold face on. Tattoos. When 10 years, when all these guys don't have these jobs anymore and they just have all these crazy face tattoos and you're like, what do you do? It's bizarre to see. I'm a fashion permanent. designer for mice clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like what? The permanent things that come in style. Like a couple of years ago, everybody was getting those huge chest piece tattoos. Yeah. I'm like, it's all going to go out of style eventually, and then you're just stuck. Well, I mean, look, if you like your tattoos, you like your tattoos. But face yeah, but it tattoos? wasn't like tattoo people. It was like all of a sudden everybody started getting chest pieces. Oh sure. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Yes, it was like the. It became the pretty boy look. Yeah, yeah. it became like the in style thing of the hilarious. moment. Now hand tattoos are the new chest tattoos. Yeah, and then face tattoos. I'm like, face tattoos are just a thing now. It's ridiculous. Just go to Altman Greenfield Salvage and just see fucking <laughs> everyone with the chest tattoos. Uh-huh. That's a new thing. What are you gonna do? Uh, it, was it, was big, it was big in 2012. It was a style, and now I'm an accountant. Now, <laughs> now I'm a money manager. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think you go from this to accountant. Liam, it's like this to. He goes, Liam Horn, a CPA nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm rep my set. Don't make me take my shirt off. I'm gonna get real with you. You want me to tax that ass? Uh, you want me to bring my bitch over here? She'll go fucking ham on your ass. Let's watch this little girl, because I think all this shit is actually spilling over into the children. And Wu Tang is for the children? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to watch any more of this uh, asshole. You hate her? Yeah, I'm done. I hate her too, but I want to see her finish the, her flip out. I'm okay. going to finish her flip out and her arrest. I'll watch her get arrested. I'll watch the state get involved. Okay, ridiculous. Are we done the flip out? Yeah, flip out sucked. The, the flip out, that was pretty much it. It was just yeah, her again. I love she just always has flip outs about, you guys don't know I'm VIP. Well, we looked it up because Liam's there at Coachella with her, mm-hmm. not getting in also. Even what I love he, is that she always has these sightings outside of clubs like Sasquatch. You know, no matter what, it's always like, he goes, oh man, he goes, the club is great. Yes, yeah. inside we have 18 million decibels of sound, a light up dance floor, dancing cages. Out front, you can see our beautiful artwork and our atrium level. If you walk out the front door, you can see Chanel West Coast freaking out, yeah. yelling about her friends not getting inside. I saw her at an art basil in Miami lose it on a waiter, and I said, I have to have you in front of my club. <laughs> Daniel Brazoli had so many chances for a pun of being like, yeah, oh. I, I, I can't, I'll never get a chance to fight her because she'd have to catch me inside. Oh! oh! I'm sorry, you just caught me on the way to the bank to deposit these checks. Snap, snap, plow, plow, plow. <laughs> Let's watch her arrest and then we'll get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Chanel. I'll be your arresting officer. <laughs> this guy. Chanel West Coast is going to jail. So Chanel West West Coast from Ridiculousness. She's like a rapping secretary. Well, <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> she really is like the Billy Bass of uh. That's so fucking funny. Rapping the rap world. Secretary. What a great way to say that. Uh, for battery. And it was awesome! <laughs> I did nothing. These people are haters. Guys, there's nothing. A contrary, Dubs, because officers say you got in a fight inside the club, outside the club, and then you kicked it up a notch. Literally. You can go she told him to shush. That's my favorite thing ever. Go back the cop together. goes, you embarrass yourself. And she went, shh. No, she didn't. No, she <laughs> yeah. didn't. Hit play. I want to see this. Literally. Got to hit it. You embarrass yourself. You embarrass yourself. You punched me. You embarrass yourself. Wow. Wow. You know West Coast might have an alcohol problem. <laughs> I told you you can go home after you kicked me. Oh, that's white lady privilege. You <laughs> kick a cop and you get to go home. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you punch me, and that's where I draw the line, Missy. 
<laughs> Go home after you kicked me and you punched me. Which cops frown upon. But... She said, but I punched you because you guys are haters. I had to punch the hate away. <laughs> she like can't hold her head up. Yeah, she's. She, she goes. You guys are haters here. Why are you in my living room? <laughs> Why are you on the set of ridiculousness? <laughs> Where's Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Chanel's got this. Oh, no. Too late. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll do anything. Anything. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Now you're going to go for bribery, too? <laughs> Just find me. Ew. I'll suck all of your blue wieners. And they're blue, right? That's why they say blue lives matter. <laughs> bribery now, too? Okay. New tactic. Belligerence. Yeah, Shut your fucking mouth. Followed by the... Oh, dude, fans. she really has two speeds. Please help me out and fuck you. Yeah. You don't know who I am. I'm a fragile doe. Stop this. He goes, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Fuck you, you yeah. piece of <laughs> shit, Polak <laughs> faggot. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, she goes, I'm scared and I'm lost and I don't know who my friends are. Well, I gotta take you in. I'll fuck your mother's <laughs> face to death. You <laughs> idiot. You know who the... <laughs> I am? I got Rob Diedrich on... Speed down. Oh, I guess you don't watch MTV enough to do a piece of like you and all your yeah. friends coming up. Please, please, please leave a souffle in the oven and I have to go home for it. No, I gotta take you in. Oh, well, you know what? You can suck my you mother. Oh my god, you don't even know who the I am. Okay, would it be better if I just suck all your guys' <laughs> and then you can pull it out and then put it right into my. There and then is. just finish all over my and then I'll put some inside and then it'll turn into a <laughs> and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it in and, and then I'm going to lick it off and that might give me hepatitis A but oh <laughs> and then you felch it <laughs> what oh, Chanel gets damn <laughs> felching Liam Liam just winks he goes what's up he goes, he goes it's my gal he goes I'm 98 pounds soaking wet <laughs> <laughs> you go get her yeah, this this lady sucks. Keep playing. This is a, this Who I am defense. I'm sorry, but like, kicking and attacking. I've been on TV for 17 seasons. That's Congrats. fucking great. That's great that she just dropped 17 seasons because that's cable seasons. Yeah. So that's like two it's seasons like two a year. Two or three a year. Yeah. So she's you know she's she's doing dog years in TV. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was funny. I, I found seventeen that, I, seasons I, I, like she was on Cheers. I found that out kind of recently. Yeah, she's just fucking <laughs> idiot. Are oh, you in syndication, Chanel West Coast? You <laughs> fucking dolt. He's like, I have well, no problem going against people like this. He's like, well, you're in season, shit. You're now in season thirty-one of Cops. Yeah. Oh, dang, oh, dang, 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 dang. Yeah. Dang. He looks up at the camera and winks as he says that. He goes, "Well, put that season eighteen of Cops. How you doing? <laughs> hey, how are you? He says, "Well, congratulate." I love these cops, actually. Yeah, these cops are real heroes. You think that I would be... The cops should say, well, you clearly didn't make a splash. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I know. seriously. Shut 17 up. seasons and I don't know who you are? But he did offer Chanel one last chance. You were going to walk all away. By arrest if me for not, what? You are going what to jail do you me. have on me? For trespassing and for... Yeah, I mean, Chanel. dude, fucking put her in jail. Stop with this. Stop with this chances. Black Lou, I mean... Do you know how frustrating it is, though, to watch this girl get out of this? Of course, yes, time? I do. Yeah, if that I was do. me, I'd be, oh, you'd be fucked dead. up. You, right I'd be wearing a. I'd no, be me wearing too, a, though. I, oh, black Lou, if you. If this you, isn't even. Yeah. If you said half that, you, I'd be wearing a black Lou shirt right now <laughs> and marching <laughs> down Sixth Avenue for justice for your fucking cop who got off. Uh, it's not a black white people thing. This is a white girl thing completely. White because lady. Christine understands this. Christine's oh, yeah. had situations in her life that she, Christine should have been arrested a few Countless times in her times. life. They probably would have done me some good. Yeah, you guys. And the cops still, like, the cops still were just like, it's like, yeah, we'll get you home. Don't worry about it. Yeah. He goes, are you, are you cold? I mean, basically, <laughs> yeah, it was stuff like that. Like, so this is not that far into Christina. I mean, like, I don't think Christine was like, I'm going to fight the fucking cop yeah. ever. But I There's, mean, like, I've never been belligerently drunk with a cop. No, Thank but God. you've been in a situation where you were like caught, fucked, and you're like, shit, this is a trouble. And then it's like, the cop's like, come on, let's just get you home. Dude. <laughs> like, that kind of shit. But seeing her say that, like, that sure shit, where she's like, sure, it's like, fuck you. So she's already smiling that he's going to let her go, and he's, if I did, if I was like, listen, if I let you go, you're going to walk away, and she's like, uh-huh, sure, and then just start smiling, I'd be like, 
Nah, fuck it then, man. I I'm like, no way. No, you but know what I do? If she was showing, she's like, yes, yes, I'm right. If she gives her, don't you think that's the point where you should keep expressing remorse until you're like, you yeah. know, Kaiser so say it yeah. when you're two blocks away. And yeah. then be like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'll tell you what I would do. But right here, she's smiling here. As the second she says, sure, I go, Rodriguez, get the beanbag gun. Because <laughs> she goes wonky. We're taking her down. Light her up. Yeah. <laughs> He, he, oh. Liam, Liam, umbrella me. He goes, I can't, I'm too skinny. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm, I'm riding your back right now. He's getting you, on either side of me. You gotta swing me like a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> he had a block with your sword walking. <laughs> That's great. After she said, after she said she'll do anything, yeah. do you think she's the type of person that would sleep their way to the top? Fuck yeah. the music industry. You don't think she didn't bang Rob Diedrich? I think she banged Lil Wayne too. Oh, yeah. mm. Little wheezy, completely. Yeah, that's how she got signed. A woman, oh. take that as a lesson. If you're not talented, you still can't really sleep your way to the top. Yeah. <laughs> you can sleep your way to like you sleep your way to mediocre. Like, yeah. uh, mediocre though. I bet you. I bet this chick's got a little bit of cash right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. She's got some cash. She's doing all right. She could buy she a beg- house. She, she could beg- buy a house. She, she definitely got like high six figures in the bank. I'm sure. Well, she begged for the fine, which means she's got money. Yeah, yeah. she doesn't give a shit. But look at her already. Go back a little tiny bit. What do you have on me, sir? Yeah, that's Chanel 17 Seasons West Coast. She ain't going to... Oops, she went to jail. Uh, That's hilarious. (laughs) Great. Good job. Good job, police officers. Good job. Wait, hang on. Okay. Happy bail! She's the kind of chick, though, where now she's like, yeah, I've been in jail. Like, she oh. thinks it's cool that she went to jail. Yeah, she turns around and raps about it. Yeah. And you're like, oh, God, you went because you're an asshole. You didn't- Fresh out the joint, y'all. <laughs> ah, Chanel West Coast coming at y'all from lockup. <laughs> so you're in a drunk tank on Melrose. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, here's my holding cell rules rap. I mean, let's take give a, me back my shoelaces. Let's back take our, my shoelaces. Let's take our last break now and then just come back with something that isn't this piece of shit. Does that sound good? <laughs> Wait, I got yeah. more of her online blog. No. <laughs> I'm going to put my foot down, Jay. All you know, I never right. put my foot down. But this garbage, all these shitheads, we're done. Fine. We're moving on to different shitheads. Okay. Not famous shitheads. Fine. Our <laughs> shitheads. Future shithead. <laughs> Fucking A, right? It's the bonfire. Yay. We'll be right back. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I always love Little Wayne when he tells stories. It was a spooky night. The kids went through the old house. A haunted mansion. A haunted mansion. We thought it was a ghost, but it was an old man. Scooby Doo Trap. Scooby Doo Trap. You know we always keep it going here on the bonfire. Fucking ain't right, bud. Keep your hands up. Central Radio Series X of 95. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Pushing it. Pushing it, we uh, it. I think Groove we went through it. the entire career and entire relevancy of Chanel West Coast. So we really did the whole arc. Shot, and we can move uh, on. It was fantastic. Yeah, she'll pop up again, Dan. I promise you, oh, she will I blow know. it again. Unfortunately, I know. Yeah, she's. I mean, clearly a moron. What's her age? How old is she? Are we talking about a real young idiot? Or are we talking about someone who seems like they've been around, been around for a while? Yeah, I feel like she's been around. 17 seasons. Remember. <laughs> she played coach on 29, Cheers. so she's probably actually like 31 or 32. I don't yeah. know if you know this, but she was Niles Crane. <laughs> she won a lot of Emmys on Frasier. Um, this video I'm about to show you now. And, uh, and again, if you want to see it, you can follow all the videos we put up here at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, I saw this title, didn't really know what I was expecting here. It says, shake SMA, my head. Yeah, shaking my head. I found that out not too long ago. That's what that means. Well, we're learning. Two custies go at it. I don't know what custies mean. Custies, I looked up, Urban Dictionary. It is, I guess, short for customers, but they call it, custies are someone who spends all of their money, like oh, their cool. whole life oh, cool. is just getting drugs. Oh, cool. Drug addicts. Yes, but no, but not a drug addict, like a drug addict with no meat, like oh. a junkies. They're yeah, junkies, junkies, actually. So that's that the new junkie is custy. Yeah, which is a shitty word. Really shitty. It, it sounds, sounds like a cute, it sounds like a little, like a, like a little snack size, like froyo, like frozen custard thing. It also, yeah, it also sounds like, um, your friend that comes in to shop at your store, where you go, you're such a cute custy. <laughs> yeah. But it's the, uh, someone who pays exorbitant prices for drugs. 
to rip some off when selling them drugs, or someone who is addicted to materialism and consumerism. For example, well, Trey over. bought a bought an eighth for sixty dollars. What a custy! <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he is an idiot. Come on, Trey. It's, I custied out Mike when he bought that gram off me. Okay. Paige is being such a custy for shopping so much. All right. Well. I don't know if it actually has made it any clearer or more confusing. I'm not going to lie. The last one really throws everything off. Yeah. These two girls are, I'll use a different word, pigs. Yeah. Gross <laughs> drug addict pigs. They should have called, called this a barn barn animal fight. This lady's got baggy knees. Now, this it's a black woman fighting uh, a big, fat, gross white woman. Now, Dude, it really, I mean, her legs look like she's wearing Hollywood makeup. I was going to say, like clump, like she's dressed like she's yeah. Eddie Murphy getting into clumps Yeah, clothes. if you told me this was in between scenes of Nutty Professor 3, I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But here's my favorite thing, man, and this is a, a pride that a white man will never understand. The pride a black woman has in her wigs. Yeah. I mean, this woman's whole life is clearly... E- eating not good for you foods, clearly. Uh, living life in socks outdoors, hanging out with only drug addicts, and I guess booting some kind or smoking some kind of drugs. Still rocking a wig, and decides to fight with wig on. Can I tell you this though? All those things make me think she's got hands. Let's see. Oh, oh, she looks like she tries to get nice with it, but this thing takes a weird, hilarious left at one point too, which I love. But go ahead, play it. We have to narrate this one more. Okay. Do what you got to do right now. All right. Do what you got to do. Go ahead. Do your thing. Now, if you're wondering the level of guys. Oh, look at that winner. Yeah. Look at that bird shirt. If you're wondering. She's got gout legs. If you're, oh, yeah. Oh, she definitely has piss in those ankles. Oh, wow. <laughs> piss in those ankles is my favorite sentence you've ever said. She definitely has. I mean, you blew a funny fuse. You can't even. There's definitely piss in those ankles. But, uh, just, you know, with people out there listening at home, the quality of uh, man hanging around with these people aren't the ones saying, hey, ladies, this is ridiculous. It's guys that will say, do what you got to do yeah. to uh, a woman who I think she's filming this with a fake phone that doesn't oh, exist. Great. But she is dressed exactly how you hoped. She uh, finally found my fucking laying around the house outfit. Yeah, her sweat hogs. <laughs> I mean, she's wearing basketball shorts. Uh, a shirt that they only make in 4X. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they only make shirts like this that's, in the fat that, section. That's real. You're going home from the hospital and you showed up without clothes. That's exactly right. But for some reason, crispy white fucking uh, Nike's on. She keeps it nice. And that's how you know she's fucking a black dude. <laughs> yeah. It's the clean sneaks? It's those clean sneaks. If I come on with these dirty, Trayvon gonna whoop my head. Oh, I'm also gonna get some dick. Oh, I'm also get some dick tonight. Hey, I just sneak and clean my Nikes. Y'all getting up in this pussy later tonight. I'm also getting up. This is Wolfman Jack bringing you all the hits from the Beach Boys. Coming at you right now. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Uh, now let's see. I mean, she's filming on a fake phone, which clearly shows she's on some fucking heavy drugs. She said she'll give you the first one. I don't need first. I love people say they're going to give each other the first one. You can let it play, Christine. I'll tell you what's going on. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. No one's against this. The black woman's legs look like a trash bag full of batteries. Yeah. It is. Her stomach looks like a wet garbage bag. It's like slipping over. That said, she could be 30 or 72 years old. I'll tell you this, though. Her foot movement makes me think that she is nice. Now, I'm not going to lie. She looks like she's fought before because the way she's holding her hands. However, she's holding her hands in like a horrific... Like, street fight people never think to cover their face no, in any kind of way. Card up. It's always some weird, like, how you think it's supposed to look in a goddamn Chuck Norris movie. Dude, I love that old... That lady... The white lady looks like she's swallowing her own face. But it is, I'll tell you what, uh, you want to call it a black-white thing, an ethnic thing, you stop it, Christine, an ethnic thing, I'll tell you what, man, black people, when they fight, I think a lot, again, a lot of fighting, especially the ones you watch in these videos, for people that seem like they want to fight and they're Mm -hmm. fighting over something, most people in street fights, including these people in these videos you watch, really don't want to fight. They're sort of hoping anything from, like, yeah. uh, an authority jumping in the middle or a train going between them where they don't have to fucking see each other. They really don't want it to happen. Yeah, they're, like, they're hoping something stops it. And I think what, uh, like, white guys will try to do with, with when they try to show intimidation when they're actually scared is try to kind of go more like a quiet, like, you know, fucking 
No, but almost like a, almost like a quiet, like if you want to fucking do something, I'll do, you know, almost like a yeah. you're gonna unleash the beast in a second, like yeah. kind of d- d- docile. I don't think you're ready for my white rage. And I think black people do. I mean, I mean, hands go in twenty different directions. Yeah. <laughs> like a goddamn, uh... like they're trying to start a conga line. <laughs> Not even. It's just get like, on up. Like you're doing two things at once. Like I'm spinning cotton candy over here, and this one's hammering a nail. <laughs> yeah. Like everything, the hands guy... are going all kinds of different directions. White guys yeah. are like, I'm going through my protocol to make sure that I gear down right now. The one that, they're doing, they do the head, which I believe is what this white this big fat pig white girl is doing is that it's head down doing a lot more of like the throw a punch than if you want to throw a punch go ahead you wow. throw the first shot throw what? the first shot then let's see risk by the way the lives of a junkie are so exciting that a lot of the people in the circle aren't even actually watching them do this they're all just doing other things he goes oh man i'm just counting cracks on the floor he goes oh that's crazy i was just in space <laughs> but uh, apparently you guys had a dust up ground control to major trevor wow a Native American holding recycling walks through. Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> are you guys on my sacred land? By the way, you know what they're doing probably? They're probably outside of his place where he lives and he just can't say a thing about yeah, it. He goes, oh, is Juanita getting all pissed again? He goes, oh, what did Cheryl say? <laughs> I No, I came out late to smoke a Marlboro. What happened? <laughs> what did I miss? Was it, it something good? Oh, Tanisha looks pissed. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I bum a lighter? <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. Well, take off! Take off, nigga! Take off, nigga! Hey! Man, you better take off, nigga! You better uh oh, nigga, oh. this is what I'm talking about. Now, 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 the white girl starts leaning into it now a little bit. She's getting ready to go. Dude, now, she's got you know, some real country stance. If you know, She's uh, delicately lifted up the leg of her basketball shorts to expose her knee to let you know she might be coming in with a front kick. A la, that's a, that's a real karate master move. Oh yeah, yeah, you give yourself you give yourself the what if she did the the crotch room. So if, you could, she, if you have to throw like a spinning scissor kick of some sort. What if she came in hands up Tom Post style? <laughs> Just, yeah, you know what? Fuck this. Let's rock. <laughs> She goes, oh, she goes, I haven't spilled blood since 92. <laughs> glass, the glass and ropes. Goes, I've been waiting for this. I usually fight overseas, but I guess I'll do it in these streets. So now it looks like the white girl's going to fight. Looks like she's decided, yeah, you know what, bitch? Let's mix it up. Let's I'm out of Newports. Go, go, nigga. Go. See, you better, you better fight. You better fight, nigga. You better swing. Me, me, you better go, nigga. Whatever the bagginess of her thigh is so uncomfortable looking. It's, they look like skin sweatpants. What is that? I don't know, but... It's just somebody that's overweight that's, like, never done anything for their body good. So it's just she has, like, a jiggly lump on her leg? Yeah, know. it's just, like, like she's never done anything but, like, walk her own body weight around. It's like a bag of fat. Also, all her veins are shut off. It makes me want to go do bar work right now. But I, I'm the guy next to the girl filming. I go, Jacqueline, enough with the N-word. You're saying it a lot. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the Yeah, they keep dropping M-bombs, but I'm hey, pretty well. sure they're talking to these two women. I go, Jacqueline, enough. Let's film it. <laughs> Just film it. Film it. Don't stop fucking saying the other I'm gonna make you suck my balls. I'm gonna make you suck my balls. You're just gonna talk. Right now. I'm standing at five foot six, two hundred and sixty-five pounds of Looney Tune wearing, flower shirt having. Yeah, this is gonna go bad quick. Oh, yeah. No, without a doubt. And then, by the way, I got a little taste of this when I watched Meth Storm, which you still have to watch. I'll watch it this week. You have to watch Meth Storm. By the time we come back, 2018, I'll watch it. Oh, yeah. You're going to enjoy Meth Storm. But it's a very similar thing here with this. Like, what's crazy is it shows you how much, like... We are just children who become adults, but it doesn't no, change you, anything. I, listen, I'm still on enough this, Molly where these, you can say this. Yeah, yeah dude, these we're women, all kids. These women are... Uh, <sighs> dude, my jaws is clenching up like a goddamn pit bull. Am I echoing? Am oh, I echoing? Uh, dude, of course we're echoing. We're all echoes of each other. <laughs> you don't even understand that. Fuck, I love you guys. These girls are... F- 50? Yeah. At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's and say, actually, drugs, say actually, drugs are smacking them. They're 50. The fact that they're in a, come on now, win it, man. Come on now, win it, now. Come on. I'm ready when you race. Square up, bitch. Yeah, it's like 50-something is bonkers. Well, it's also they're drug addicts. Sure. They are also they're drug addicts. <laughs> but like that's in you. Yeah, I know. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're, they're going back to some default settings. Have you ever seen a 50-year-old, like, like, 
get caught lying and try to backpedal. And oh, Donovan like, McNabb during his DUI? It's one of the uh, funniest yeah, things yeah, in the exactly. world. Yeah, exactly. You're like, you put this guy on like a weird, different level than yourself, and then it's like, what are we doing tonight? He's like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, tonight? Tonight? Hmm? Over there. Because you're like, yeah, you're like, well, dude, you, you know, walk, look so stupid. walking. But being 50 doesn't make you smart enough to be able to lie better. You know what uh, I mean? It's I so fucking, weird. I love that. Uh-oh, she gonna let you go and let her do that to you? Get her. Don't guys, get her. Go. guys, 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 it's me. You gotta get in there. This, first of all, watching a fat person, like, like, give, like, give, like, fake checks. Watching fat people try to give, like, fake checks, like, yeah. you know, try to make you jump, and you're like, your jerk is too slow to make anybody yeah. jump. Like, yeah, you're like, she's going like, yeah. It's like when a D lineman tries to juke someone out on a fumble. Like, what are you doing? You, just end, up, you just end up stomping yeah. your feet in place for yeah, a couple you're looking, seconds. You look like a fucking dancing elephant. I see him before you. I'm just going to hit you, man. Like, you're, you're a square fucking form. Who is this? This right here? Yeah. LCD. This is? Yeah. Man, I wish they had played this last night. It's getting me all jacked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go back a little bit, Christine. I want to see these. Bet you never saw these. this dance, Jay. I want to see his hip chicks again. <laughs> I have not. Yeah. What do we name it? I don't know. It's called Corkscrew? shoulders. It's called shoulders. <laughs> it's called shoulders, 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 shoulders. <laughs> I call it the Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown. <laughs> Elvin. Elvin. <laughs> Rest in peace, Elvin. Rest in peace, baby daddy to Murphy Brown. All right, let's watch this fight. Let's actually watch them fight. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she gives these little checks. Get in there. What's up? That? Oh, that's how she do you? She gives her her back. Oh, that's how she do you, Michi. She goes, your BJJ is not even good. <laughs> Michi, you boo-boo. Oh, Michi, you boo-boo. Oh, she pulled her big, gross, fat titty. You can't see it because it's the wrong camera angle. But the white one pulls out this sloppy, wretched tit from underneath her, I'm guessing... Tweety Bird bra. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Her Looney oh, Tunes bra. No. And pulls it and her, gives a tit slap and says, suck my tit. You mean her, her tan colored sports bra from Target? <laughs> she has a fucking personalized bra. It's across my heart. She goes, it's whatever. It's, it covers up the rose tattoo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, what are you doing? The white. I mean, she's gonna get her ass beat. She's t- sore, but it's so funny. I'm putting money on the oh. black lady because this white lady's dancing around. I mean, the smart money is the smart money's gonna be on the black lady. To quote Wesley Snipes, "Always bet on black." <laughs> yeah. But the white girl's doing so much weird taunting. You can keep playing. So listen, pause. Great. The, the black lady goes, I'll be honest, I don't even want to fight on my mama's life. And then when there's, she sees that weakness, the white girl just throws a square punch in the face with somehow everything she has, and yet it has no oomph behind it, it at had, all. It was impressive. It was like, uh, it's the, it was a pump fake. It was a pump fake punch. Uh, but she lands. She lands, but not Back in any way. Back it up a touch so we can watch this punch connect. She goes, I don't even want to fight. I ain't nothing scared. I don't even want to fight. I'll let us go. Oh, my mama's me on. I need you, boo-boo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. And she dropped her wig. Ooh, ooh, if, you're wondering, if you're wondering, that was not her real hair the whole time. Oh, no. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. I look like they're always... I like when women fight and they look like they're telling each other secrets. They go, yeah. hey, I just learned that Tide is 20% off. She goes, really? I'm going to bite your fucking ear off. She goes, well, let's make it look like it's real for a little bit. What's wrong with your legs, honestly? Is there a way I can avoid that? She goes, I'm so sorry. You need to talk about it. She goes, where'd you get your bird shirt? I can't believe she's still wearing a wig. Yeah. Oh, it's coming off. Yeah, I mean, it's Don't off. worry, it's coming off. It's already off. It's pretty off, yeah. You better win me, you better win me, you better win me, you gotta get her. Get in there, get in there. So now, my favorite part's coming up here in a second. What you'll see is, once she got her free punch in, and they're not just in a tangle anymore, and the black chick's about yeah. to start uncorking, White girl just decides, fight's over. No. You saw this black woman before? No. White girl just decides, fight's over in her eyes. No. This is, I, I, I took this video, I, I pulled it solely for this, <laughs> just to check Play it out it. in the middle of a fight. Play it. Get in there. 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 Get in there.
She's still going. She's still going. Wonky style. Fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida, and a record of 14 and 1. I mean, dude, it's so funny. She goes, you know what? I'm done. The way she says it, go back. Go back. I'm done. It's a. De- it's so declarative. She's she like, puts her hand she up. She goes, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm done. through with this. Guys. No more. You know what? This didn't go the way I thought. She, I'm over it. It's the way a mother talks to a child when they're done talking to the child, trying to reason with it. Like, <laughs> I'm done. You, you've already done it. Get in there. 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 Dolores, why did you pull out of the fight? Why did you pull out of the fight? Because I'm afraid, all right? For the first time in my life, I'm afraid, all right? It's not like it was before the kid and you in the house. I don't want to lose what I got. She goes to Bummer Winston, and her, her boyfriend goes, I want you to win. <laughs> Bing! What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Dude, I love that she has the, she has the mouth of every old sailor. <laughs> yeah. Look at that Jim Blossom nose. Take a picture of that. Oh, her, pa- that her, her pappy face? Yo, that looks like an 80-year-old Irish grandfather. She has a fucking watermelon head, but all of her features are squeezed into like a three-by-three three area. It really <laughs> looks weird. She really looks like all the just the leftovers got made into a person. <laughs> <laughs> And you just squeeze dough through your mm-hmm. hands and then put a face on the top of it. Yeah, I go, is she a cookie dough person? <laughs> Did you guys make like a cookie person? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. I want to go home. Custody's done. That's Custody it. What's the matter with you? That, no. You know what? I want to go sit on my back porch. <laughs> I'm done. I got a wig off. I just, I bet my friend 20 bucks I could take a wig off. I got some pecan sandies back in my tent. She goes, I'm not gonna lie, she punches me in the, in the back, you're gonna watch a jiggle, like, the legs you've never been seen. <laughs> she judging her goes, the black chick's got like tumors and something. She goes, I, I didn't feel comfortable fighting with her legs. <laughs> her legs were hitting me in the thigh. I, it's, I swear to God, it felt like a midget was punching me in my knees. <laughs> she goes, she was swinging that fucking extra leg meat around. I mean, the other girl. That was the third hand. She looks like Beetlejuice, the other yeah. one. But let's get her quit again, one more time. It's great. Oh, sorry. I haven't ate today. Get in there. 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 Ain't nobody touch me. Get in there. Okay, I'm done. So great. What's up with you? You better fight. Because of her, I'm going to use this in a conflict. I'm going to go, okay, I'm done. Oh, man. She's giving up. Nah. She's getting mad. Yeah. She walks away. That's a white lady break. <laughs> Ain't so bad. Ain't so bad. You ain't the real champion. I'm the real champion. <laughs> oh, Let me tell you something, Dolores. Yeah. You a paper champion. You ain't the real champion. <laughs> Signs for a shirt. Paper champion. What are we waiting for? <laughs> you a paper champion. That was deep. Yeah, I just love it. That made me laugh so hard just, just to quit. The absolute quit in a fight. Like, here are you win. It's done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm over. I'm not angry anymore. But, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. They just they trail off. Okay. And we only have five minutes left. Should we? You want to <laughs> you wanna just listen to this girl rant? This little girl? I want Lou to be able to pull clips from this. All right, play it. So there's no real context of this. This video just made me laugh when I saw it online. Uh, talk about the Chanel West Coast and the bad babies yeah, and all, all the world and idiots. the, and how all the runoff of this stuff. And by the way, I'm sure this is like lyrics to something or she's repeating something she heard. This isn't her words, but it's a little Asian girl who decides to quote unquote go off on her haters. Of course. Of course. There's a lot of haters in the young Asian world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of haters. Apple. Mm-hmm. Um, the iPhone process. Your, your mom in cello lessons? Uh, my mom in cello lessons. I believe, uh, all of Target's clothing. Hey, watch it, bud. <laughs> hey. Watch it. Hey, that Budweiser shirt's affordable. I loved it. Oh, I loved a good Bud Light shirt. I had one. I was so excited for the first day of seventh grade because I had a new Bud Light shirt. If there was seventh any grade, indication. You're, not, you're like not supposed to wear <laughs> Dude, like shirt. If there was school. any indication I was going to be an alcoholic, I That's wore my best new Bud Light shirt from Target. You had your fucking Sprites wearing like a I'd rather be fishing koozie. Oh, dude. I, <laughs> dude, you brought, I like, big, you brought big, your own koozie to school? Big, yeah, I go. I just opened a Pepsi at lunch. I go, Oh, there's the coos. He goes, yeah, there it is. That little <laughs> spark when you first open, you can see the bubbles jump. Yeah. I go, this thing's gonna stay cold all the way through seventh period. <laughs> Fruit roll up. Give myself a nice. He called it Coke Light. I'm gonna give myself a Coke Light. Hey, what are, you, are you European? Why would you call it? That? <laughs> Let's watch this little girl. Only 
nine years old, this little Tay, and I'm rushing at all your broke ass, jiggly pop looking ass niggas. Whoa. I'll fuck your mama, cause she has thought, and I'm gonna become your father. Pause. Bye. Found it by the way. Thought that hoe over there. We looked up that on the show. We looked it up on the show before, right? Actually, I think Learning. Isabella told us the meaning. Uh, Learning. And my growing. daughter told me that right before she coached this Asian girl. <laughs> it, she's the one directing this video. Hey guys, uh, tell me, watch this video. Let me know what you think. And if you know if you think it's really funny or good, I'll you know I'll let you know. That Isabella directed this. Well, you guys mind tweeting it out? I'm spending money on child support. I'm gonna spend that money on foreign shit, bitch. Hundred thousand on my wrist. That's not possible. See this shit right here? That's Gucci, bitch. Y'all can't afford things like Lil Tay. I wear it as a belt. I wear it as a sash like I just want a beauty pageant. Great line. Because I slay in all these niggas, Whoa. bitch. again. Y'all can't afford things like Lil Tay. I'm going to keep flexing on the haters, nigga. Oh, boy. All I do is win. Oh, oh, Everybody hands go up. Soccer practice at four. I get home. I am going to talk to you about the video. You <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. She goes, now I gotta go, motherfucker, because yeah, I gotta get to yeah. <laughs> my target mom outside, bitch. Getting mad, putting Gucci on me. <laughs> um, I, know I will see here you tomorrow. I know. I will see you in 2018. Oh, I don't everybody. like this. I don't like this. Stop. You're but leaving Hartford Funny Bone. You can see Jay. Thursday, January 4th through Saturday, January 6th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com and follow us at the Bonfire SXM, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'll see you before that, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dan Soder's going to be the Albany Funny Bone Thursday, December 28th through Saturday, December 30th. Then at San Francisco Punchline. Oh, boy. Thursday, January 4th through Saturday, January 6th. Get tickets for that and all of Dan's shows at DanSoder.com. And uh, we'll have a guest host tomorrow. It'll oh, be boy. Funny. It'll be different but same. Different. But the same. But different. But different. But different. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly different. Guys, a little as Molly's leaving my system, let me just say, I love all of you. I really I do. Love you so oh, much, we dude. love you I love too, you Dan. You can tell Wally. because my energy goes through you. I know what I feel. Do you feel when I send it yes. through you? And I want to let you know that I take it and I absorb it. And then I give it right back. Oh. And Dan, <laughs> chew, chew gum next time, Dan. Ah, uh, dude, I got a fucking pit bull jaw. <laughs> yeah, and I'll send it through you. And I grab it. And I throw through, oh. all, and through you, through everybody. We love you guys. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle.